But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Let me tell you about my great God. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you're ready to get your day started off in God's Word. We are in Genesis chapter 2, finishing off, or I guess better saying, capping off the creation week. First chapter covered the first six days, and obviously on the last day, uh, God ceased from his creation work. That's what it means by rest there in chapter 2. God ceases from his creation works, and that's what we have today. We have his creation, man, the beast, the water, land, the planets, the stars, all from all spoken from God's mouth, all right? Except one thing he created was not spoken into being, all right? That was man. He formed man out of the dust of the ground. He breathed into him the breath of life. And then also woman that we find out here later in the chapter, uh, he took from the side of man, one of his ribs, and built her to be a helpmeet and a companion to man. But then it continues on to talk about um, some of the things in the Garden of Eden. We see the Garden of Eden established here, and we see the two trees two specific trees, uh, the tree of life and also the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now we know the one um, very well because that is the tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that God told Adam and Eve they were not to take fruit from. All right, That was the one rule, the one law that was in the Garden of Eden that was for them not to eat of that particular tree. For the day that they eat of it, they shall surely die. And we know how that kind of ends up in the next chapter but we're not going to jump ahead here but anyway that's the first garden the first law in that garden and man was given domain over god's creation all right remember we talked about in the last video in the last chapter man has a special value to god and worth to god above the rest of creation therefore god gave them dominion to reign over the rest of the creation all right to tend to the garden to take care of that which god Created and one of the tasks God gave Adam that we see in this chapter to begin with was to name all the animals on the earth. Now, not every specific uh, type of animal, but all but to name their kind. So he didn't name every single type of dog that there was. He just this kind of animal. These are dogs. These kind of animals. These are cats. These kind of animal. Whatever it may be. Now, obviously, he probably didn't use those the words dogs and cats and so forth. But that was a task, and you could imagine. While he's doing this, he's noticing a pattern here, right? The animals are coming through. He's named them. That's a giraffe. The, those are uh, the hippos. Those are the whatever it may be. And he's noticing that each animal that comes through, he notices that there's there's more than one, all right? And there is male and female. Each animal has a companion. Each uh, species that he is naming has more than th just itself. But right at this moment, it's just him. And God seeing this, he, he says it is not good that man is alone. It's not good that man be alone, so he decides to make man a companion. So he puts Adam to sleep, and then as we know, as it goes into chapter, he creates Eve. The main thing I want to focus on today that stood out to me is just the importance of uh, companionship or the importance of relationships uh, in our lives. See, God... Seeing Adam alone knew it was not good for man to be alone, so he made him a companion. He made him Eve. Uh, working with teenagers sometimes, and not just teenagers, people in general, you're going to have uh, certain moments in your life where you may be the type of person that you may think, you know what, I don't care about be interacting with many people, or I don't care if I have friends, or I don't understand it is not good for man to be alone. God did not create man to be an island. God created man to be interdependent upon his fellow man and it's a good thing because it it leads to relationships it leads to stronger uh relationships and unity built up in their community and it leads to it should lead to good things and bearing more fruit for the glory of god do you think the church let's put it that way do you think the church would be able to operate if everyone in the church only wanted to do that which was good for themselves and they didn't want to interact or depend on anybody else no the church would not be able to grow the church would not be able to be the light that god has called it to be it's important for man to have that help in their life it's important for man to have that accountability in their life i'm not saying if you're not the most uh talkative or or outgoing person all right because that's not everybody not everyone has that personality i'm not saying you have to be that all right but it is good to build up especially if you're a christian good godly relationships teenagers if you're listening to this surrounding yourself with good 
godly friends who help you, keep you accountable, and help you grow, and you in turn help them grow as well in the Lord. All right, and someday in the future, when you meet your future spouse, that your husband or your wife, that they also serve as that same thing in your life that that help me, that companion that helps you grow and glorify God with your life. It's not good for man to be an island. We need to build relationships, be interconnected with one another, and that's the best way we can witness as well. How do you think your witness will be if you only want to remain to yourself and don't care about interacting with your fellow man? It is not good for man to be to be alone. So if you ever find yourself in that thought or in that pattern in life where you think, I just don't care what else is going on around me. I don't care what's happening to him or her. I only care about myself. There's a problem there, all right? That's, a, that's rooted in pride. That's rooted in selfishness. Uh, that shouldn't be the case, especially for the child of God. That's all I got for today's chapter, guys. We're only on chapter two of Genesis. We're going to keep on rolling along. I hope you have a great time reading through God's word, keeping things down in your journal, but tell somebody about your great God as well. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless.